Hi guys, Scott here from Marathon Gaming with a quick pickups video of some games I've picked up for Nintendo. I've got some N64 games, a Switch game, so we've got some past and some modern, and I've also got quite a few games for the NES to show you guys before I put them on the shelves and log them into the system. So first of all, I've picked up here Paperboy for the N64. Hi. Now the reason why I've picked up Paperboy for the N64 not necessarily as I think it's a great game. I haven't really played, I don't even know if I've played it to be honest. I've got a loose cart and it's bothering me. I haven't been able to move on the loose cart. Um, Paperboy for me, it's just on so many consoles. I'm not actually a big fan. It's like one of them rose tinted glasses one. You always, when a friend sees it and they come into a room where you see an arcade, it's always like, if you get into the retro game, it's the first thing you want to play, whether it's on a Mega Drive, one or two, or on the NES, or Game Boy, or whatever system it's on. It's been ported so many times, even on the old micro stuff, but, yeah, I've never played a 64 version. Long story short, got a loose cart, and I was trying to find a box for it for months and months. Couldn't find a box for it, and then one came up, good value. I mean, it's actually pretty battered. This is fully complete, so now I've got the box, and now I'll try and move on. We'll force on the loose cart, so I'll trade it in. Um, so yeah, Paperboy for the N64. And now, exactly the same thing, a similar story. Road Rash 64, big Road Rash fan. I haven't really played the modern ones, not even the 3D one, or I played the most recent one in a different name, but it was the same game for the Switch. Um, if I remember it, I'll pop it up there. But yeah, love Road Rash, Road Rash 2. Um, really enjoy those on the Sega Mega Drive. Haven't really played much of the others. Um, a lot of nostalgia for the Road Rash series, but however, Road Rash 64, again, I might have played this once. I've had the loose cart for a long time, a very long time. Probably when I went back and brought my Pikachu 64, which was in 2012 or 2013. Um, I think this might be one of the games I picked up there and then. Um, but again, it's a loose cart, haven't been able to get rid of it, been looking for a replacement box, and then, lo and behold, a fully complete, and this is a decent copy as well, so I'm going to keep the box version and move on the loose cart. So that's basically what's happened. I've ended up with trying to get a box from my loose cart, so I ended up with another bloody version of it. So yeah, those are the two N64 games. Um, now onto the Switch, I've got Mario Strikers Football League, just the one today to show you guys. Um, I haven't played much of it, I've done the training, I think I played one game. Um, I wasn't blown away. I do want to play it multiplayer. Seems like it's a bit too much going on, but hopefully it will be good. I'm sure it is a good game, but I've not heard many people go on about it, which worries me. And I've just been playing so much Fall Guys. Uh, when I do do a bit of modern gaming, I've just been playing a bit Fall Guys, really. You know, like half an hour, the odd evening. So I need to play more of that. So hopefully I'll, um, now talking out loud about it, I will do. Now, onto some big hitters for the NES. My favourite game, which is um, hard to find. For the NES, believe it or not, it is Punch-Out, but the other one is um, Kirby, the original Kirby's Adventure. Haven't been able to find it. Um, I don't know if you can see me holding the box at the bottom of the screen. Um, but then two of them come along, like bloody buses. So literally I picked one up, which was described as like collector's condition. Um, it's not fantastic by any means, um, that one to be honest with you. Um, and there's no manual in there. Um, so yeah, I mean, pff, defying collector's condition, probably not that. Um, but yeah, I was happy with it anyway, regardless. I'm not really too bothered about manuals in NES games. I don't really check for them. When you open a plastic case, you notice it. But yeah, on like a Super Nintendo or an NES game, I just, I don't really notice them to be honest. They're normally behind a tray, aren't they, or the sleeve. Um, but yeah, so that hasn't got a manual. And then literally one week later, I'm in a store. I think I was in a store, or it might have been an eBay one again. And I found another copy and I actually prefer this box, even though it's not in as good condition. I think it was £10 cheaper. It comes with a manual. It's got a Nintendo sticker still at the top. And what I love about it, look at that in the back. Toys R Us. don't know if you can see that. It's got £36.12. That is so random. What a random price. Uh, 8th of November, 1994, that's dated. Um, but, I mean, unless I've got a friend who's really after a copy, um, I'm just going to keep hold of them. Because like I said, it's my favourite... It sounds silly only in the same game, like people deal on different platforms, but on the same platform, I mean I've got three copies of Twisted Metal, two very good condition, it took me so long to find, and I've two great condition, then a demo one, you know like a blockbuster rental one, um, and I've kept hold of them, not interested in selling them, and this might be the same, um, yeah, I definitely won't be trading it in or selling it and losing money for it, that's for sure. So yeah, Kirby's Adventure, so very excited for that. I've only ever played it on the Switch, which is quite good, if you've got a Switch, you get the mem with the um, online membership, you don't have to pay more for it. That game is on there, on the NES app, so um, do check it out and play it on there. If it wasn't for there, I probably wouldn't have been able to play it other than seeing footage. Um, now, here's a couple of games. I've got these two together, actually, I think. These two here, off of um, eBay. 
um, Tetris and Solar Jet Man. It's really just for the Tetris. They come with box um, Tectors. They're a pretty good price, basically, two of them. Um, I'm going to give it a go. I've never played Solar Jet Man. Um, the box is lovely. I mean, I, it's not an expensive game, but I could probably, you know, sell it quickly for 10, 15 quid or whatever I imagine. And then, yeah, Tetris. Um, it's not there. It's got a bit of a rip at the top. Um, but I just one in one. I've played it so much on the Game Boy. I only play it a little bit on the NES. I'm not going to play a load of it. Let's be honest. Unless I do like a high score challenge video out of it. Um, but I just one in one. Just wanted to own. Every time I see it, I always look at the condition or look at the price and get talked out of it. But yeah, so this basically came. I think they both might have been like 40 quid for both of them, and it's worth it pretty much for Tetris alone. Because it's hard to come by in a in a fairly okay box. Um, so yeah, so I was really happy with that. And these two are shop purchases, um, which are from Miso. If you haven't been to Miso, if you are from Essex, Barley Lands Miso Retro Games, fantastic store. Um, go and see Luke, really, really good store. Um, he's got all sorts in there. Check him out. Um, I'll put a link in the description um, to his page. Um, that should work, wouldn't it? To his Facebook page. But yeah, I've done a shop tour, so I'll go through my back catalogue. Uh, must have been about a month or two months ago. Um, yeah. Yeah, about five, six weeks ago. And um, yeah, you can see a shop tour. I've done a video on that if you want to check it out. I got these two from him. So over the moon, I mean, a bit of a pricey one, but you can't complain. These are always unavailable on CEX. Maniac Mansion. And I haven't come across it other than a tatty box before in one particular store. But yeah, to get that in that condition, um, people still play this today. I mean, Luke said he plays it still today. So a point and click sort of adventure um, horror game, but it looks fantastic. So yeah, I mean, let me, guys, let me know. I mean, have you played Kirby's Adventure? I'm not going to go too much on about the others. I know you've played Tetris. Um, I'm not too bothered about your opinions on a Paperboy 64 or Rover 64. So if you say they're rubbish, you're probably right. But yeah, Maniac Mansion, let me know. how is this really that good? Because I've heard a lot of great things about it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to play that. But yeah, £60, I've got the sticker on there. Um, I won't pull it off while I'm talking to you. That's very rude. Um, and then this one, um, not an expensive game, but it's unavailable in CEX when I looked on the way back to the car um, from the shop. Rescue, the embassy mission, um, it was just well priced, you know, it was £25, I'd never seen it before and I was looking on the back and I thought that looks like quite a good game and I thought even if it's not, you know, until I, f you know, I could, it's, it's in a good condition so I'm happy to keep it for a while um, and then I'm pretty sure I could probably sell it for 20 quid and I'd only lose a fiver so I get to play it, own it for a bit, but yeah, it looks pretty good so be interested to know, have you played this? Like, I've not come across it in the wild and like I said, it's unavailable on CEX which means I could probably stick it on eBay and probably get back exactly what I paid for it, if not maybe a couple of quid more. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, so that's it really. Some NES, some N64, and uh, a Switch game. But um, the highlights for me, it's got to be the no, not these three. It's got to be these two. It's got to be these two. Which do you think? Which of these would you think is a hit? Which do you think is a miss? Um, I'll speak to you guys soon in another video. Probably be a high score challenge. But yeah, take care. Have a good day. Bye bye. Oh, Mario. And I am the hedgehog. And today, with this. <laughs>